Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today following the release of the all-new Pangu Jailbreak for iOS 9 through 9.0.2, I'm going to share a list of five tweaks with you guys currently compatible with the all-new iOS 9 Jailbreak. <laughs> All right, so to kick off this video, if you're interested in winning a brand new iPhone 6S, just be sure to rate this video up, stick around to the end for instructions, and of course you will need to be jailbroken to make use of any of the tweaks I'm about to highlight, so follow my Untethered tutorial linked in the cards and the annotations on your screens now, and these tweaks will work on pretty much all devices, so any device that can update to iOS 9 and in turn jailbreak, including the brand new 6S and 6S Plus, which I have right here. Also, just note that there are a lot of tweaks inside of Cydia right now that have yet to be updated to fully support iOS 9. However, I Hate Snow previously confirmed that iOS 9 is basically the same internally as iOS 8 as far as tweak development is concerned, so expect a plethora of updates to hit Cydia very soon from all of the developers who definitely contribute to the jailbreak community. Now we're about to get into the list, but first I'll have one link for you guys down below in the more info and in the cards right now to a post on my site, Best Tech Info, that not only contains the list we're about to go over, but also every Every iOS 9 compatible tweak. It's a constantly updated spreadsheet. It's embedded from the jailbreak community, so big props to them. It's a really awesome resource for you guys. So up first, we have a tweak called Round Dock. You may have noticed it already. As you can see, it just adds a really nice effect to the dock. It just kind of makes it a little bit shorter on both sides and also rounds the upper corners. Again, it does add a very nice look to it. And if you're interested in that, you can download it inside of Cydia for free. Round dock. Next up we have battery life. So let's go ahead and launch that up. Again, this can also just be obtained through the default repositories. So as you can see here inside of battery life, it's pretty simple and basic. It tells you the current charge level. So we're at 44.44%. It also tells you the battery capacity. So we're at 100% right now. So basically this is just saying from the time your device is new, like the iPhone 6S Plus is right now, until you're actually using it, how much it's degraded so which percentage it's at total. So we're at 100% right now. Depending on how you actually charge your device and how you use it, so your charging and usage habits, that capacity might definitely have degraded. So it's not 100% accurate because it's pretty much impossible to accurately gauge the capacity of a lithium battery, but it's as close as you'll be able to get. It also tells you the voltage beneath that, how many charge cycles total, the current operation temperature of the battery, as well as the current discharge level. So some really awesome information there and when you swipe over it just confirms the identifier again this is an iPhone 6s let's go ahead and swipe back for those of you who notice the number in the upper left hand corner that's just how long until it actually refreshes these statistics here and don't worry it will only refresh them when you're actually using it and then when you tap on the eye you do have a few different options available here inside of the settings app that you can change I really like battery life it's an awesome tweak and I love knowing approximately the current capacity of my device his battery. Now, we have a tweak called 4x4 folders, so let's go ahead and swipe on over here and launch up games. So this is actually available through a custom repository I'm going to show you guys in just a second, but first, as you can see, my icons are in a 4x4 grid layout. So let's go ahead and swipe on over here to Cydia, and I'm going to show you guys how to add this. So basically, you just need to go to sources down below at the bottom, and you need to add the following repository by tapping edit in the upper right hand corner, followed by add in the upper left hand corner and then you're just going to add repo.rpdev.info and once you do you can simply tap done and then followed by tapping into the source tweaks and then install better 4x4 folders. Next CCD separator just removes the separators found inside of control center here. So as you'll notice for the sliders, so the brightness as well as the volume sliders, we no longer have that slight separator that does appear there by default stock. So it just kind of cleans up the look of control center and just a very simple and minimalistic tweak that definitely doesn't take much from your device. Now for the fifth tweak, we have flux. This of course is one of my all time favorites and you had to know this was coming. This is probably the only time I'm going to mention it in a top tweaks video for iOS 9.0.2, but I absolutely love flux. It modifies the color warmth of your device's display at night. So that way you can more easily 
use it and it's not as harsh on your eyes. So as you can see there, when we actually tapped on preview, it went down to the setting at night. What's really great about Flux too, of course, besides the fact that it's system wide, is that it knows when the sun sets based on your location and it will slowly start to change the temperature of your device's display. So you actually don't even realize it until it's already changed and then you disable it for a while because there's a pretty stark difference between when Flux is enabled and when it's disabled. And of course, with Flux's gradual nature, you definitely won't even notice it as it's happening. It's really great and it definitely does help with blue light exposure. Now, finally, we actually have a sixth tweak. This is a bonus one and I wanted to include it as a bonus tweak, not only because it's only partially compatible with iOS 9, but for the fact that it is a premium tweak. So let's launch up settings here. It's actually called Virtual Home and you had to have already have purchased it on iOS 8 and then just link your device to your account inside of Cydia. So going inside of manage account and then logging in either via your Google account or your Facebook account and then linking your iPhone to it. And then you actually have to add a custom repository as well. All you have to do is then just tap into it, followed by tapping into tweaks and then installing virtual home eight and nine. And once you do that, you should be good to go. You may receive an installation warning there. All you have to do is just tap in the top, followed by install and then just confirm it and respring. And then you should have virtual home eight provided you already downloaded and purchased it on iOS eight. And essentially what virtual home does, I know that was kind of a long set of instructions to actually install it, but it's definitely worth it. It allows you to actually just rest your finger on the home button to activate it instead of actually pressing it if you have a device with a touch ID sensor. So anything from the iPhone 5S and up, and you can also set up other configurations as well. For example, when I hold down on it, it will bring up multitasking there. So as you can see, we're now inside of multitasking and all I had to do was just rest my finger on the home button. I didn't actually have to press it and that's it. Currently the option to actually set your device to sleep using the home button as well as to wake your device up without pressing the home button once it's on the lock screen aren't working properly right now but again remember that is a beta repo and the developer is working on an update so that's the list for now definitely stay tuned i will have more tweak lists for you guys coming very soon once the tweaks are updated by developers and of course the link down below in the more info will have everything you need as well as a constantly updated list of all ios 9 compatible tweaks and for those of you interested in winning a brand new iphone 6s it's very simple just navigate to free freeappsfast.com inside of mobile safari and sign up after that download one or more of the sponsored apps in the main section just ensure that you earn points and then in the fourth tab you see that link there what you want to do is take the unique portion of it so what appears after the equal symbol and post it in the comment section of this video linked for you guys on your screens now and then you'll be automatically entered remember that giveaway will conclude soon before the end of the month unless something changes and again guys one last time big thumbs up to Pangu, they delivered an absolutely awesome as well as stable jailbreak on iOS 9 faster than anyone would have expected them to. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one covering jailbreak tweaks or jailbreaking moving forward, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.